I think we all need healthy environments to be working in, but especially since we're sometimes exposed to some pretty um, tragic experiences and maybe even 24-7 exposed to trauma. In our 36 years, we've worked with over 10,700 young children uh, and 10,300 adults, and I think that's important for folks to know that as a small agency, we've not really, as I said, been able to spend as much time as we want to to work on our physical environment, and we know that that's really important. Our front room is it's filled with toys, there's things all over the place, and when a kid walks into that front room, they are throwing stuff, they're running all over the place, so that front room is so overwhelming, and it sets the kids up to be overwhelmed. I think the environment plays a big role in terms of just helping them get settled and comfortable. I can't tell you how many kids I've met in this very waiting area uh, where they're clearly apprehensive. They've never met me before and now we're going back to a room. It's all about the little things and it really make, helps them to open up and blossom and feel comfortable. Having a welcoming environment helps to create a little bit of safety and um, comfort for them, which is really important. And it's, it's stressful, and it, it, it does, I think, take a toll. So I think that's an ongoing challenge for a lot of the clinicians. Anything we can do to help them uh, take stress off of them as far as how the environment looks, how their offices feel, how stained the carpet is, how stained the chair is, you know, anything we can do to help them feel like this is a warm, safe place to help those kiddos, I think is amazing. We've been here like this is, I think, just over 18 years that we've been here, and I'm sure if you have toured and you look closely, you can see there's, there's good wear and tear. We get a lot of use out of the building. I think we just spend so much time working with children and families that we um, aren't able to stop the world and take time, even though we know it's important, equally important, that beyond direct services, we really need to have an environment that's warm and inviting and healthy and safe. The Rainbow Project space is quite a bit different than uh, last year's space, and uh, it gives each designer an opportunity to make uh, impact into an individual area. So there are the therapy rooms, there's the conference room, there's a kitchen area, the reception area. So it's a different challenge, but we still need as many designers and as many people as we can so we can bite off as much as possible to make this uh, space function better and to um, expose people in the community to the gift of giving. And this is an opportunity.